Okay, hello everyone. These are the supplies that I'm gonna be needing to get with getting these floors in good shape, um, getting them sealed so that, you know, the, if something drops on the floor, it's easy to clean. And the two, I have two products here actually. Um, this one is the, the Maddie Sealer and Finish. It seals for stain protection with a, a matte a matte finish. And, it, and this one here is a high gloss finish sealer. So either one of these can be used on tile. And I this one I had bought before. There's still some in there. I think they're kind of similar, really. But I'm going to go with the high gloss this time. And it's a full bottle. I'm going to try this one. Because I did notice that... The last time I, I sealed the floor, the sock fits, sealed the tile on the floors, I noticed that it was easily, you know, easily cracked up. Cause you, 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 have, to, you have to apply these things, you know, every so often, you know, every six months, or at least once a year to try to, you know, keep your floors in good condition. Um, protective for you know traffic and so forth and so but this is my trusted steam vac it it steams carpets and also regular floors it has like the, br the brushes on the under the bottom that will scrub up anything so I'm gonna first clean I'm gonna use a cleaner with this one or just like what you, you would use to do your floor with or your even any, any kind of detergent but no soap like sudgy or anything it has its own um it has like something that goes up it has a detergent that goes with it so it doesn't create a lot of sudge it's just kind of like you know a cleaner but i'm going to use this one first to clean and then once it once it clean and dry i'm going to apply two to three coats on each floor so this is there's gonna be three floors that I'm gonna do and I've already um, I'm gonna have the before and afters so do you, let me know what you think once I'm done I will give you the results thank you and I just want to see if you can get a good picture of that and how that looks these are going to be the before. This is the before and the after. And then I'm going to show the afters after I get finished getting everything straight and, and all cleaned up. So I'll be able to, it'll be like a two step more than a two. It'll be probably like a five step process. Because first, I'm going to clean the floors real good, you know, wash them up real good. And then after that, I'm going to apply one coat. I'm going to apply. I'm going to apply actually two to three coats. They may need, they might need three, but some might only need two. Um, I'm thinking up here, this probably one, this one here probably will need only two coats of the, like this, like the uh, ceiling. And downstairs are going to probably need two or maybe two or three coats. But I'll, I'll inform and let you know what what it actually what it actually takes. Thank you. Okay, this is the floor number two, and I just want to show a good look at that before I get to getting it. I'm gonna first clean the floor, and then after that, I'm gonna apply um, the coatings of the um, sealants on the floor and you're gonna see a dramatic difference and I got one more that I want to show okay I'm not sure if you can see but I have some scuffs here on the hardwood floor and so I'm gonna work on that and I just want to give the before picture here but as I'm looking up here I got some scuffs and everything and and i showed you my products that i'm going to be using to try to get this to get this straightened out and get this you know sealed and protected as well just as i did with the tile floors 
but you can see that and so this is the before and I'm gonna come back with the after thank you okay <clears throat> hi youtubers I just want to do a recap on some some of these supplies that I use for to you know to clean my floors um, to seal you know the floors mainly I'm working on right now I'm working on the um, tile floors because I have tile areas and then I also have some hardwood floor areas but basically this is very important these knee pads right here AWP actually I've, ha I've used a lot of different other knee pads but these are really great so I just wanted to point that out and you're probably going to need that if you don't have any knee pads you can also use like a carpet or rug um, you know, you fold up like I use it. I want them, and at some point I did use my um, bathroom rugs, just fold in half, and you know that's that that is effective as well. Because if you don't, you don't have any knee pads available, and you want to just clean your floor, I mean, just folding up a little carpet under your and putting it under your knees will protect your knees and make the you know the process much 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 more easier. And basically, what I like to use when I'm doing the tile, I like to use a sponge, and I like to go down there because sometimes in the, if you have large grout areas, I mean, if your grout air area is large, you know, you can really get inside of those grooves and get inside of those cracks and crannies and everything. So that's why I like to use the um, sponge. And again, a recap on, I, I actually used the high gloss finish sealer, and that worked for me. But I want to also point out some other products, and of course, I use my steam vac. I mean, I have this for, um, I mean, for a long time, like at least about eight, nine years, and it's still going on strong, and it really does the trick. And also, you can clean your, clean your carpets with it. It's a very good product as well. Um... I was in, in, I have some area that I want to do, I want to do with a hard floor area that I want to also kind of touch up. And so I'm going to be using this Bona Hardware Floor Polish. And it's kind of similar to the glosses, but it's, it's specifically used for hardwood, hardwood floors. So you can polish. And it also has this, this here, um, um, it's like a wand or what have you and you know it has a it has a, like a, a large surface area to it and you just take this off and you wash it you take it off you wash it and it works really really good um, but I'm not gonna be using that because I'm not I'm just gonna be doing a small area I'm gonna be using this sip this Swiffer what you call the Swiffer and you have pads that you can put on and it's light and it's easy and i also have something for like windows so so you when you look at these you don't want to be confused as to which one you want to get if you when, you, when you're starting to do some cleaning in your home this small one here is for this small one here the blue one is for like windows so you have something to clean your windows with but but as you can see, they all are kind of similar. This they're kind of similar. And so I just want to, you know, give a good shot of that and some healthy hints on that. Um, I think that's pretty much it. I will be back. And you also make sure you have some gloves, you know, protect your hands from, you know, the, you know, the it's more like some chemicals in here. I'm not sure, but it gets sticky and, you, you definitely don't want to get it, anything on your skin that, you know, could possibly irritate your skin. And I think that's pretty much it. And um, if you have any questions, please like and subscribe to this video. And um, I'll be back, guys. Thank you. Okay, so this is two coats for this tile floor here. And like I said, this, this tile had its own finish to it which was already kind of glossy a little glossy but I'm going to only need two coats of this for myself that that will achieve the desired 
results that I'm looking for. So I'll be back, let you know what all the finished products look like, and um, I'll be getting to work. Thank you. Hi, YouTubers. So I applied two coats to this floor in this bathroom, and I just wanted to show you know, yeah, as you can see, there is some differences already. But because this floor was it had never received like a finish on it, and uh, the people who construct the home, you know, they usually put in, you know, to seal some sealant in their grout mixture, and but. They, did, they never did like seal the floor. I mean, I guess it wasn't that necessary because this floor, you know, this particular tile has, it has its own, you know, little, it has its own kind of like a, it's not a huge gloss to it, but it's just kind of, it's, it's what it is. I really like it. Um, but as you can see, um, the sealant, it really brings out the definition to it. And just put a little closer. But I wanted to show, I put that on there, but I didn't put any, as you can see on that back wall right there. And I just put one coat, new coat on here. And, and if you look back to that wall, in this one, you can see that the back wall there, which has not had any seal on it, it's kind of, you know, just kind of chalky looking, and, and but I think I'm going to actually um, put some on there and to bring it out because it does bring it out the definition to it a lot more. And I think I, what I'm going to do is I'm looking here. I mean, this is okay, but I want to. I think I want to put one more coat because to bring out the evenness of it. Because as soon as some some spots, um, it looks like it's not as defined. But I just want to show that it's just this that that is just after two coats, and you will see after I put in one more coat. How it just sparkles just a little bit more and protects your floor. Okay, I'll be back. Welcome. This is DIY Homemaking and Creating. Bees DIY Homemaking and Creating. Welcome today. I um, just wanted to say that I think I have achieved my goal with sealing the tile, uh, both two tile floors, and I also seal put a little sealing on a, on and touched up some some of my wood floor. And pretty much, I'm pretty much satisfied with how it came out. And I'm just sitting here thinking, you know. Uh, it really brought back a lot of memories in regards to, you know, just doing the cleaning and everything that goes on. As my mom would say, my house is so clean that you can eat off my floor. She would say, as she would say, my house is so clean that you can eat off my floor, basically. And I, but I was like thinking, you know, and she didn't just say that, but I know she got that from her sister who was holding her. And the, the two of them, she wasn't much older. And her oldest sister, one of her oldest sister, oldest sister, one next to her, um, because she she made pretty good money. Uh, my aunt um, cleaning houses, and you know she had a, um, I mean she did it. You know she made a she made a living off of it. And I, I recall her taking me and my cousin on some of her jobs, and we had to do some vacuuming and some cleaning and so forth. And she was just very, 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 very tidy person. And it brought back, back some memories to me. And 
I thought about, she just passed away in February. Um, <clears throat> and I thought about her. I'm just grateful, you know, that I had her in my life and I had my mom because it, them two, they were close together. And, you know, my cousins and, and all of us, we were all, you know, kind of close together at that time when we were younger. And it really brought a lot of memories back. And I think just because of all of that experience that I had younger, it kind of stuck with me. And and so uh, as a result, this is the results I'm having. I'm thankful for it. Um, some tips I would say with the, with the ceiling of the floors is um, when you're working on your floors, kind of like you get into your corners and everything first and work your way out to the area that you're working in. So that's one of the good tip. Like I would go, like I have a look, the bathroom is in here. I would work inside of there and then work my way out and all the way out until I get out to get out on the carpet area. So that's one tip. Um, I think it took me about three coats to achieve my desired effect that I wanted. Um, three coats I think would be would be good, but sometimes you know in some spots you might want to do four coats just to get some spots looking more even, even tone. Because this this particular tile here, you know, that ha it has this um, it has its own finish, so some areas kind of patchy looking. And so I would touch that up a little bit, but three three coats pretty got pretty much got me where I wanted to be with it. But let me know what you what you think. Um, like and subscribe to the video. And um, I hope you have a great day. Thank you.